kato ine izi ba kidipa hii kika wa kidipa. Havana ba yugira muga. Nugut kutago. Nienduweza ati ifoidi zika azurugira mberazia. Kikara tuwa litaka maizi kwa mwitaka kuonga ntutahayu. Nturubatamu. Tugia ntutaha. Na kuo. Ntutuara maizi. Tuwele ntuwa na vwa na muno. Havu wa maizi. Kurora ntuga ya hara. Agani ntunye vigana. Nearly 90% of Uganda's 35 million people live in small towns and rural areas. Roughly, two-thirds of them lack access to safe water. We can to Mabana, Hizuba, Bamara, your wheel of wing, Candy Amazing to Galeta Hara. In this area, it is mostly women and children who are responsible for fetching water. Uh, since our inspection in 2016, we have managed to work in over 10 communities. Uh, that's helping them get water wells like this one. Uh, such water wells uh, have helped communities avoid different waterborne diseases. In these areas we have worked in, and in 2018, May, we, have, we managed to build this water well and it is serving a rural community of Mkonomora here in Karambi, Kavari district. Uh, this water well serves uh, an approximate trip of around 700 and it has helped them uh, avoid long distances in search for water. Uh, other than that, it has helped children uh, avoid drowning because they used to fetch water from the nearby river. Uh, that's, that's moving on at our agenda of improving uh, access to clean and safe water. Maizi ninyo marungi, hata linkagala gankaba ninyo. Nente zange zinyira maizi kurungi, hata nuboru kuirola nizagiri. Tunyo maizi ya marungi, niendoe ili zika kiendiri, tishiaba mbantu. Sazinu kikatu anguera. Maize mayonjo, noroka na ukutaha, tugeira guira kari, maize marungi. Kwa hivyo wizibo mo chari chari wa baganda village, kikere kina population ya bantu, bitano, nabiri. Kanda tuwagawa kwa tuwa kolero wizibo, wa mchari cha kagusu, wa mguweri parish, eki kikere kina population ya bantu, rukaga, nsanjo na basatu. Tuwagawa kwa tuwa kolero wa izibo erindi, O mchiaro cha kabende, eki kia na population ya bantu, habaru kuingana bina kena na nomu. Tuwagaru kwa tuwakolero wa iziba, eri indi, o mchiaro cha mkono mbomura, o mbutebe paris, eki kia na population ya bantu, runana asatu nomu. An estimated 5,000 people have directly benefited from this project. We have at least constructed eight water wells where everyone has access to clean and safe water. This helps to reduce water diseases and accessibility is made easier than before. We have also started up a fetch as you pay module where families pay 1000 shillings per month. And so if the water well gets a problem, it's this money that helps in the repair and maintenance services. No, 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 of the century in rural areas have at least reduced and uh, walking long distances especially for pregnant mothers to fetch water have also been minimized and we look forward to at least reach into 10 villages or 10 communities and ensure that at least every rural or every village has access to clean and safe water since water is life we ensure that this water is gazetted is clean for home consumption. Over 80 percent of uh, the rural communities in Uganda live without clean and safe water. This is the reason why Renzo Child Help Foundation was established in 2014 and we started our operations in 2016. 
since our establishment in 2016, we have managed to work in different areas whereby our footsteps have been felt and eight water wells have been constructed. Among these eight water wells, we have managed to work in uh, rural areas of Hargongo, Kagusu, Kavende, Rabaganda, among others. With a population of every village hitting up to 500 people, a total sum of around 4,000 people have benefited from our water projects. Since our establishment, we have worked with different stakeholders in the local government. Our funding partner Zagua from Spain, and their work and their efforts have been felt on ground. In 2019, uh, we seek to work in more areas so that more communities can benefit from this project. Through our research, 60% of uh, people in Uganda still have open defecation and this also leads to contamination of water. Uh, through our vision of ensuring that every rural community is empowered to live a better life, we also came up with education programs. We identify children who are orphaned and we support them in education. Uh, throughout the two years we have worked with uh, over 20 pupils and they are attaining better education in the different areas where we have worked from. Uh, we have a target of uh, uh, working in 20 areas before the uh, end of 2020 so that we can achieve the Millennium Development Goal of ensuring that every household gets clean and safe water. Uh, as we work in these areas, uh, we have managed to educate the masses about better sanitation practices on how they can keep their homes clean. We educate the masses or the communities on how they can always boil their water, on how they can have a pit latrine, on how they can use the water they collect uh, for agriculture purposes and this has led to increase in their income levels. So we want to thank every person who has worked with us for the last two years of our journey and we look forward to working with everyone who wants to come on board in ensuring that we reach out to different communities and cover the whole area of Renzori. Thank you, thank you so much.